going on guys welcome to my new short series it's not going to be too short since it's going to take me forever but i'm going to do a little bit of a slayer series uh, i was going to include all sorts of drops um and i was going to do a slayer tab for 5 million slayer xp so right now we're sitting at 13.6 mil in slayer experience so with 5 mil we're going to end up with about 18.6 million uh, slayer experience and then we're going to end up selling the bank uh the loot tab see how much we make for 5 mil experience um, I will be doing all Slayer tasks, including like anything that's boss-wise. So if I get Hellhounds, I'll do Cerberus. If I get uh, Greater Demons, I will do um, Zami. So it's, it should be a very nice um, bank tab. But I'll be showing you guys any cool drops, anything like that, that I get along the way. So hope you guys enjoy. And that's our first superior kill right here. What do we get? Nothing too special from it. So I thought I'd just show you guys really quick what the bank is looking right now. I only have um, some collectibles in the bank that I've been storing up so we have like the dark, to dark totem pieces and stuff like that um the jars that i've gotten from bossing champ scrolls uh kbd head and abyssal heads the two pets that i have long bones and the curved bones that i've collected only have had one curved bone i'm not gonna complain they're like one in four or five k so i'll take only one <laughs> but a bunch of uh long bones there so this is where i'll be keeping all my stuff as you guys can see we're gonna throw that first inventory up in there and then we're gonna go back to doing some more slayer yeah wilderness yolo interesting oh baby we got ourselves a wit drop gonna pick that up before it shows up on anybody else's screen it's a very nice like two mil not even maybe like 1.5 mil not gonna complain though nice we got a clue scroll and we got the dark totem top from that very nice not bad at all all right very nice that's what we like to fucking see zemi page one and morton teleports juicy so that just happened. Green square shield and an abyssal head. Interesting. I know the abyssal head is pretty rare. I'm not sure if the rune square shield is RDT from Abu Demons. But either way, pretty pretty crazy. Alright, let's see that imbued heart, please, and thank you. No imbued heart. Can we get that third age? It's actually really fucking good. I didn't have that item yet, so. Zami chaps, nice. First of the First of the Zami chaps in the bank. Got me some D boots. Was that in the distance? Another pair of dragon boots. Nice. I'm pretty sure we can't get items here on the um, island. So we're going to telly out and then get our third age. Alright, it's actually not too bad. Ancient coif and we get an armor page one, so 300k. So this Katizo update just came out today and now he has a pet drop and a new Slayer Helm drop. So I had three dark totems in the bank. We're going to give it a try. We'll see if we can get lucky here. Use one of these on there. Yes, let's go. Let's go Tizo kill number one. What do we get from this one? Why is he not dead? Oh, there we go. We get some Onyx Bolt Tips, Agent Shard, and a Clue Scroll. Not bad. The Onyx Bolt Tips are definitely good money. Let's see how much we just made from that. Holy shit, there's 40 of them, so 300k. Four? Did I just get four Ancient Shards from that? Holy shit, that's good. And we're going to do that clue scroll really quick here as well. Totally forgot to record, but we just got a Bandos page and some rune armor there. So I completely fucked up my second kill, and I actually ended up losing a totem. So unfortunately, only two kills this trip so far. We'll have to get some more dark totems. What do we get? Mahogany Planks, Ancient Charge, and a clue scroll. No Slayer Helm, no pet. Not too surprised, though. We only did two kills. I wish we had that third one still, but I fucked up on one of the kills, and we lost a totem. So we'll have to get some more. And this is going to be clue scroll number 600 for me. What do we get? Just a bunch of rune stuff, but that does look very fucking nice. 600 hard clues complete. All right, let me see that imbued heart. What do we got? Dark totem bottom. Nice. Another jad task complete. Pretty easy. I'm getting pretty good at doing these. Um, unfortunately, just came shy of that personal best. Not a big problem though. Still got a pretty decent time. We're going to go ahead and exchange the fire cape. Hopefully get ourselves a pet. You're not lucky. Of course I'm not lucky. Fuck you. That's pretty shit. Let me see that imbued heart, baby. Alright. Flax and white berries. Here we go. Got another hard clue scroll. A little bit better than the last one. Another reward. Bandos page. Nice. Ooh, we got another casket. What do we get? Ancient page. Alright. 
Fair enough. That's like 300k. Damn. And what do we get for ourselves from this clue? Ooh, okay. Room plate body T. I don't even know if I have that yet. Let's take a look really quick. I do. I have fucking... This is my fourth one. Rip. What do you know? Another clue. What do we get? Another holy blessing. Okay. I've had like five clue scrolls from one Dark Beast task. What do we get here? What is that? A Ceridolman page. Not that amazing, but we'll just add, an, uh, add it to our collection. Oh my god, fuck off. Are you... Really? We're not gonna talk about it. Hey. Hey, we both got Warrior Rain. Fuck, could have been fucking six mil, but no. You can keep yours now. Oh my fucking yeah. god, dude. Dude, you fucking suck at RNG, dude. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Mud battle staff? That's actually worth a bit, so... Shit. See how much, how much? Examine it. Um... 77k. <laughs> fucking hell. Oh, jeez. No way, are you kidding me? Another Mud Battle Staff. Just finished up my DK strip. Uh, I started off as a duo and I finished as a solo. But just look at the fucking inventory. All these drops were in my name. Like, how unlucky yet lucky is that? So, all these drops that you see here are probably, I'm pretty sure they're the same drop rate as the uh, rings from each of the bosses. I had two Mud Battle Staffs, two Circles, a Farseer Helm, a Warrior Ring. Which is the same chance as a berserker ring that's insane and then yet none of these are so these like five right here are worth absolutely nothing but i guess they're drops and the reward for my hard clue is a master clue nice i'll definitely take that all right let's see that imbued heart please and thank you uh it's never gonna be there we just got our second chance at the imbued heart here can we get Anything good. I've never actually had a drop from a superior monster. And still don't have a drop from a superior monster. Boom. What the fuck? Charge Dragonstone Drew. Alright, okay. Gotta do that with the YOLO. Okay. Nice Alcabos. We got a page out of it as well. Nothing too crazy. Okay. Here we go. We got another clue. What do we get? Oh my god, that's so bad. Got ourselves another superior. Can we get a unique finally? What do we get? Dark totem base, and that looks like that's about the only valuable thing from there, so. Nothing good as usual. Here we go, second clue. It's a lot of rune, I'm not even gonna lie. It's not that bad. Second superior of this task, what do we get? Oh, we get a clue scroll from that one, not bad. We'll actually take that, and we get the dark totem middle. Anything else useful? No, we'll grab the fire runes there. Why not? Alright, not bad. And this is the third hard clue scroll from that one blood belt task. What do we get? Again, nothing too spectacular. Yeah. Here we go. We got the elite clue scroll casket right here. I actually haven't done one in a while, so can we get something good from it, please? Wow, that is disgusting. I did not expect that at all, but there's a fucking dark bow on the ground. Thank you very much. What the actual fuck? We just got our second dark bow, and it's maybe like 10 to 15 kills after our first one that we got this trip. Wow. Okay. I'll take it. Here we go. The reward from our clue score that we got at Dark Beasts. Nice. We get a master clue. Hopefully we can finish that one. Here we go. Master clue reward. Oh, shit. We just got a Dragon Defender Ornament Kit. Oh, my God. And we got the Guthix page, which is not bad. That's a three fucking mil clue right there. Fuck, that's amazing. Here we go. We got another hard clue scroll. What do we get? We get a Sarah Dublin page and Blue D High Chaps D. I believe I have every single one of those unique items there. Maybe not the Chaps. Let's check it out really quick. Um, yes, I actually have four of them now. More clues. You know, it's actually not that bad of a hard clue scroll. Here we go. We got this clue from Abyssal Sire. What do we get? Wow. Let's not talk about it. There it is, guys. 99 range on the account. 
arguably one of the best levels that I can get. I've actually never in my RuneScape career had 99 range, not even pre-EOC, so that's an absolutely huge goal to get right there. Um, it's a really, really nice cape because it does act as a Ava's Accumulator and gives prayer bonus, so really, really happy to get that one. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade that right now, and I decided to put this in the video just because um, I did get it while training Slayer. I just came over here because I had like 700 XP left, so I just thought I'd finish it up on the guards there, so... Very, very excited about that one. We're going to actually start blitzing and stuff on the mage so we can kill some Abbey Demons with Blitz. We got another hard clue complete. We're going to go for that Will the YOLO. All right, room place Kurt T. Nothing too amazing. Another hard clue complete. We're going to do another Will the YOLO. What do we get? Ooh, Gilded Full Helm. Not bad. I already have that, I'm pretty sure, but not a bad clue overall. 165k. Finish another elite clue that we got from Abbey Demons. What do we get from it? That is a Sarah page. Rip. Oh, baby, that's a fucking beautiful sight to see. Grab that Abyssal Whip. We're not letting that one get away. Hopefully, we can get another one throughout this task. We do still have 145 left. Another hard clue. No! No! Oh, my God. That's our third Gilded piece that we've had ever. Oh my god. For those of you that don't know, it's the same chance to get a gilded piece as it is to get any third age piece. That could have been third age. Fuck. Alright, whatever. It'll look cool in the bank. Let's rock it real quick just to see how it looks. Oh, that's so disgusting. Here we go. Another hard clue scroll done from Abbey Demons. If we get back to back rare drop table drops and it's a gilded shield or some shit, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh my god, I saw the gold and I actually got fucking scared. <laughs> okay, uh, just your typical clue. Let me see that third age, babe. That's not third age. Oh my god, I wasn't recording it, but we just got a Zemi Spear and I just fucking died. Holy shit. Wow, that just really turned into like a shit fest really fast. So this elite clue actually came from Zami. Let's see what we get. Nothing good. Just your typical shit elite clue. Here we go. Hard clue number one billion. Another hard clue. Nothing special. Got ourselves another hard clue, and of course we're going to will the YOLO it. Nothing too good. We're going to get the fuck out of here. No! That's the wrong crystal! Fuck, we got like the shittiest crystal that we could have gotten. How much is it? 178k. <laughs> Fuck, man. Here we go, we got ourselves another hard clue scroll. What do we get from it? Oh my god, I actually got really scared for whatever reason. I thought that was fucking third age. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure we have both of those items, so nothing too amazing there, but it's nice to see some uniques. Got ourselves another superior. Can we get a good drop from it, please, and thank you? I don't see anything. Dark totem top. That's about it. We finished another, um, another totem there, though, so that's pretty nice. Got some dragon boots. Here we go. Let me see that third age. Ooh, tan cavalier. Nice. Third kill back, and we get some more D-boots. I love this task. It's so fun. Alright, that's ridiculous. That's like another three kills after my other pa second pair of D-Boots this trip. What the fuck? I'll take it. Yeah. Don't really w know what to say anymore. Just keep taking them. Thank you. Oh man, another warrior ring. Okay. You can never get enough clue scroll clips. Wow. That's a lot of rune. We got another superior ball sack to kill here. Let's see what we get. Still never had a drop from Superior. Will it be the day that we change that? Probably not, but you can forever stay hopeful. What do we get? And we get nothing. Dark Totem base. We get our another uh, Totem piece to start with there. Otherwise, we're going to keep hunting. Let me see real quick how many Superiors I've actually killed. So, 37, so that's not too much. I really seem to only get Blood Veil Superiors. I don't really understand it, but... We're going to proceed to not get anything from this as well. Boom. Dark Totem middle. All right. One more. So there it is, guys. We officially finished our one mil experience in Slayer so far. 
Um, I still have 54 blood vels, blood vels left, so we're going to finish off this task and we're going to go back to the bank. And I'll be showing you guys everything that we made from about 1 mil. Now, keep in, keep in mind, I didn't really skip that many tasks. Many, Maybe like 1 or 2, just really bullshit ones. Probably it was like Ankus or something like that. Um, otherwise, everything else, I just went ahead and I did it. So, try to maximize profit. Um, one other thing to note is I do not have Monkey Madness 2 done, unfortunately. I will be getting it done very soon, so there is no Xenite Shards. We could have probably made a lot more money from, like, Black Demons that I currently have blocked, so... I'll be showing you guys my bank here shortly. So I actually ended up finishing the task, as you guys can see right there, but we did get a superior. So this is officially going to be the last clip before the bank video. Can we get something good? Can we get our first superior drop? I would love to see something right now. Nope. But that's a dark totem top, we get another totem for the bank. Alright guys, so here we go. It's officially time to show you the tab. This is what it looks like. Of course, the first two rows here is just going to be kind of like collectibles that I've had going on. and got some pets in there, so nothing too spectacular except for the seven dark totems. We're going to go to ten, and then we're going to do all of our kills at once. So, um, I've collected some Addy items just because they're kind of actually expensive. Like the Addy plate bodies, they go for like almost 10k each, so it's not bad to pick those up. A shit ton of rune items, as you guys can see there. A bunch of more rune items, some mystic pieces, um, some gems. These drops are a little bit nicer here. So here's the Zami Spear that we actually got from our solo attempts. We didn't do the whole task at uh, at Zami Boss, but we got the Spear. I've only had two Abyssal Whips, which is no surprise there. I don't actually get too lucky. I'm actually really off on the drop rate when it comes to the whips. So two Dark Bows, Mud Battle Staffs. The only rings we've actually had so far is the Warrior Rings, which is kind of unfortunate. 7D boots, I love doing that, um, superior, not superior, um, spiritual mages test. It's a lot of fun seeing dragon boots, and they're actually 200k a piece, almost. Let's see real quick. So, yeah, they're actually 202k a piece, so really nice to collect those. Gmall, circles, got some fire heroes as far as homes. We got a bunch of herbs here, a bunch of seeds as well. Those add up quick as fuck. It's kind of, kind of ridiculous how fast they add up. A bunch of staffs here that we've gotten over the time. Uh, 114 regular battle staffs, which equals to about a mil got the uh, bars across the top here some runes um the only runes you won't see here for example is chaos death and blood runes just because they just go straight to my main tab here and i actually use them for all sorts of stuff um especially for ancients i use the death runes for my um for my what is it called trident of the seas i use it for my trident of the seas so i don't really keep those in a tab just because it's they're, they're always being used so i don't want to make it look like i don't get any but i do get a lot from those drops it's really nice to see Got some log drops, some planks. Um, these are just drops mainly from things like cave cracking, for example. I'm not sure where the magic logs came from. I'll probably remember later on, but sharks, monkfish, those came from cave cracking as well. We've had the one Pegasian crystal, which is kind of unfortunate. I've been really dry at Cerberus, but pulled out a Pegasian crystal, 160k, if I can even sell it for that. So there is everything you guys see there. It's looking pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and price check it real quick, starting with the top row here. Alright, so the first price check, this is just from Alcables. Nothing too special in here. We have 7.7 .7 mil. That's crazy. Just in Alcables. Alright, so this price check is actually going to include some of the bigger drops like the Zami Spears and the Whips and the Dark Bows and stuff like that. So I'm expecting over 10 mil easily. 17 fucking mil off of that. So plus the 7.7 .7 mil earlier. We'll just round it, round it up to about 25 mil so far. This is going to be mostly resources here, but... It's going to add up very fucking nice. 3.7 mil additional to that, so we're about 28.7 mil right now. And we got probably one more price check left. Here we go, guys. This is going to be the last price check from our tab. Another 1.1 mil, so we said it was about 28 mil last time, plus this. Um, we're going to go ahead and round it up to about 30 mil. I've made 30 mil from... Roughly 1 mil XP, like 1 mil and like 20k XP, so in in insane and crazy, insane stuff there. Uh, I like seeing that from my tab there. Of course, guys, this is not pure profit. A uh, huge chunk of that um, is, is taken out when it comes to things like prayer pods and 
food and uh, super combat. So I, use, I do use a lot of supplies while doing Slayer, but regardless, it is, is still a huge amount of profit. I'd say roughly about roughly about 15 mil profit there. So um, this is just a uh, one mil XP. We got four more mil XP to go. So I'm expecting this tab to get a lot better. Um, hopefully I'd, I'd like to see maybe 100 mil when we get done with this this little run here of five mil experience. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, we're going to be doing Monkey Madness 2 literally right after this. So we're going to see if we can get ourselves any uh, Zenite shards for the next episode. So make sure you guys leave a like if you did enjoy the episode here. And I'll see you guys later.